Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Plenty of steamy sunshine out there for a hot August afternoon and evening right now. Most of us will simply enjoy a warm and dry Friday night, while a few of us, well, we're dodging downpours, especially to the north of the city right now. Here's a look at your evening forecast. So this is away from any stray showers. Temperatures around 85 at 7 o'clock will slowly slip through the 80s down into the mid 70s by 11 o'clock. And again, any of those spotty showers that are out there should have diminished by about 839. Let me show you radar and you can see there's not a lot of action going on. Most of it to the north of the Ohio River. It seems to be centered right along Interstate 75 here between Butler and Warren counties. That's where the bulk of the shower activity currently exists. But boy, they've had another day of rain out there at the Western and Southern Tennis Tournament. Of course, that shower has now moved out. But look what's happening just to the west. Here's Mason. And then as you head across Interstate 75, there's Weatherington and up towards Liberty. You can see this locally heavy downpour right along Central. Cincinnati Dayton Road, for example, up through the eastern part of Butler County there just to the north of Westchester, and then another locally heavy downpour along 741 between Springboro and Red Lion. The good news is that I don't see a lot of lightning in this, and I don't expect these storms to last terribly long. However, they are putting out some locally heavy rainfall. And then finally, we'll jump to the south and west of Hamilton here, right along the Hamilton Butler County line, county line to the south of Shandon. They got a brief shower on. 126. So most of you, though, again, are enjoying a dry Friday night. It's 85 officially at the airport. You factor in the humidity. That's why you're sweating outside because it feels like it's close to 90 right now. Here's a look at your weather headlines. So we've got some early showers going again. Those will fade here in the next couple of hours. Better chance for rain for everyone is tomorrow as a cool front arrives. And yes, behind that cool front will come some relief from both not only the heat and the humidity, but also the storms too. Here's a look at temperatures across the board. They range from near 90 in Batavia right now to 86 in Hamilton to 85 in Harrison to 87 down there in Sparta and Owenton. So it's a warm and humid day across the Ohio Valley, but here comes the cold front. This is what's going to bring the significant change in our weather pattern. This cold front out across parts of the Midwest. Here's a look at future cast. No problems overnight tonight. Again, those showers will fade by 839 o'clock. Your Saturday will start dry. We'll get into some steamy sunshine late morning, early afternoon, and then we'll see scattered showers and storms fire after about one or two. I expect the greatest coverage of shower and thunderstorm activity to be really during the latter part of the afternoon into the evening hours, and that's also when we could run a risk. Here's eight o'clock from maybe a stronger storm or two. So showers and storms around tomorrow night. If you have Saturday night plans, anticipate some rain, but by Sunday morning, this rain is out of here. Cooler and less humid air is moving in and watch that cooler air as we track it. It's represented by these blues and greens. Watch how the jet stream dips across the Ohio Valley and great Lake Sunday, Monday and Tuesday of next week, and that means we will deal with some very comfortable Canadian air and probably our more our most substantial break from humidity we've seen in the past couple of weeks. So 70 for an overnight low with the threat for an early shower here over the next hour or two, and then it's tomorrow steamy sunshine. Thunderstorms are likely during the afternoon and evening 85. Here's your day planner. Temperatures will make it into the mid 80s before storms arrive. Here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures will only be in the upper 70s to around 80 by early next week. So if I had a pick day to do something outdoors, it would be Sunday versus Saturday because Sunday will be a lot more comfortable out and those nighttime temperatures will be down into the 50s too by early next mm. week. Sometimes you can plan.